Hello everyone. I had a few people ask me about shovels. You know, what's my personal opinion on some of the shovels that are out there? I wanted to do this for a while and it's it was hard for me to get a lot of different shovels here, so I was able to borrow some from some friends that you know had experience with different shovels and whatnot. I have a few favorites, even though that they're not perfect nothing pretty much is but i have learned from experience of what to use in certain situations in certain environments and i'll go through some of these it was easier for me to get a picture and uh, pretty much show you here the different varieties that people like to use and when it comes to T-handle or like a normal handle shovel, it doesn't really make much of a difference. I prefer T-handle. This is common what you see people use out in the field. You know, old-fashioned shovel that you can get like at Home Depots or Lowe's or something like that. You don't want to use this shovel. I've seen people use these type of shovels, uh, especially at parks, and it's completely unprofessional. Unprofessional, it digs way too big plugs. You don't need to be digging plugs that big, and you, you get yelled at. And I'll show you a picture of a guy <laughs> in one of the Rochester, New York parks. I was just going by, I seen a metal detector, and I took a picture one time. He was using a shovel this size, big old shovel. This is made for, like, digging trenches, you know, uh, stuff like that. And he had the, uh, the galls of having it chrome-plated. That's kind of crazy. But uh, you do not use these shovels. There's no reason to ever use a shovel like this for metal detecting unless you're trying to dig up a chest. You know, most of the time metal detecting, this is out of the question. This shovel here, you'll, you'll see a bunch of people using. And if they had it for a long time, they don't metal detect enough. Uh, this is probably the worst shovel, one of the worst shovels made for metal detecting. Uh, the reason why is the tip breaks off all the time. And I do have... I do have a photograph of it being snapped or cracked. And this is what it will look like after a couple of years. It'll break there. And this was uh, my boy Steve's shovel. And he's actually bought two of them and the tips break off. They actually sell a shovel that is like this with the tip off of it because the tip breaks off. You know, the, the dig with a flat surface there into the ground, it's not practical. Not very good shovel. I wouldn't recommend ever buying that. Uh, then you come across the typical military shovel, you know, for camping and stuff like that. Absolutely the worst idea ever to use. Not only is it small, you really break your back trying to use it. These nuts here kind of like uh, loosen up over time and it can collapse on you. And I've actually almost taken my finger off with one of those because the handle came up on me. Uh, a lot of pinch points. Horrible shovel. Absolutely, you'll have a miserable time of metal detecting, and it'll slow you down. You know, when you're out there, you know, some of us might have jobs to go to, and you only get an hour or two, whatever, 30 minutes. If you're breaking your back with something like that, it slows you down, and you're just not going to find the stuff out there. Another thing people try to do is they try to use garden tools. I have never seen a garden tool yet I did not or wasn't able to break these shovel or these hand tools here if you're the type of guy that likes to get on your hands and knees this is the way to go right here this one right here is made lache and it's you know it's forged steel it is real hard i mean if i was trying to pry up a, a rock i could probably break it or bend it or snap it or something like that but um you know i obviously you got to use a little bit of smarts and you wouldn't do something like that but for normal digging you know, if you like it on your hands and knees, this is the way to go. I don't personally use this. In the beginning, I did. I'll show you the reason why I don't use this anymore. Any garden tool being sold, don't use it. Don't don't bother wasting your time. You're going to get your wife mad at you. Snapping all the handles off and stuff like that. You're going to spend a fortune. Just buy the right tool. The two right shovels to buy are these two here. And it depends on your size. They make a third, well, they make all different sizes, but they, uh, the most common for people that are doing parks and houses and stuff like it is the 31 and the 36 inch. I don't like the 31. I'm six foot tall. So I use the 36 and I can use this as a cane, as a walker. It's nice. 
So instead of holding this in my hand and having the weight and whatnot, this right here always hits the ground and there's more enough room where I'm not crouched over. These are great for light soil, not so dry. If you're in the winter time trying to break through ice, you can do it, but you got to be careful. Even thought, this is the weak point right here. I've, these come with a three-year warranty by Lachey, the Samson Pro Series T-Handles. They come with a three-year warranty. I've had to send one back. It cracked here. Right almost at the third year, I got a little hairline crack there. I was about to take this off. And you can in one of my videos, it shows me breaking it. And I always keep an extra one with me just in case. In the wintertime is the most stress when I'm trying to break through the ice. The ground is hot, uh, hard. Going to uh, midsummer, you're at an older house or a park where it doesn't have fill. It has that old clay, that hard dirt with mixed with a lot of rock and stuff. This here does not like that type of punishment. So this is for, you know, good soft soil, a nice rainy day, you know, at one of them places where they might have hard dirt where they had a lot of rain you'll be able to go through in the winter time these will take a lot of abuse you will put a, a, a beating on these things winter time what you want to use and this is kelly co magazine and a lot of other places selling you get them on ebay and whatnot kelly co I even thought that they're cheaper i don't know what the warranty is on their on their shovels it might be you buy them you break them that's it if you buy them on ebay or other companies samson you know, they charge for the $36, $91. This is $50, so it might be one-time use. You break it, that's it. So for winter time, uh, I would recommend uh, the Grave Digger. The reason why is the handle is welded right here. This is your weak point here. So on the Grave Digger, your weakest point, I'm not even quite sure, it's probably the blade. But uh, the only person I know that owns this one here is Mikey. And I've tested it out. It's a nice shovel. It's a real nice shovel, but it's heavy. So they're in normal days where the ground's soft. I would not recommend carrying this thing. It's going to hurt your arm. It's a heavy, heavy shovel. It's made for going through some hard dirt and ice. 85 bucks, 36 inch, which is nice and tall. Way to go. This looks a little cheap, the Grave Digger. 38 bucks, but that's what these things go for. They go for anywhere from uh, uh, $19 to uh, I think 80 bucks. I'm not sure what this one goes for, but I've gotten one of these one time with my bounty hunter. It was like a package deal. You got a pin pointer, a hand tool, or a hand digger that came with um, the, the bounty hunter itself. And when I took the hand digger out to use it, I think I broke it in the first week. I snapped it right off at the handle. It was made out of aluminum. And what you're going to want is forged steel. You know, something with a nice weld all the way around it. This is nice to have here, the serrated edge. And you think to yourself, yeah, does it really cut? Yeah, I can actually feel it's kind of sharp. And I have used this to cut roots. Not real big ones, you know. But, you know, one's about the size of my finger or so. It'll gnaw right through that nice. Same with these ones here. They'll do good. And like everything, you'll have to sharpen them every once in a while. Get in there with your file. And then sharpen it up nice. But, you know, you get what you pay for. So if you buy yourself, you know, something like, like this right here, which is kind of cheaply put together, it might not last that long. And you see how it's got the little bump in there so it doesn't bend? So you can do some prying. They do the same thing here. You can tell this was pressed by a machine. But that's uh, pretty much it. You're looking for a good shovel, and you want to be semi-professional, and you want it to last a long time, this will last a long time. Yes, you can use this in the wintertime and on hard soil, but you got to be careful. Don't be stressing this. Don't be going back and forth with it. you know, you got to be careful. you got to know your environment. If you're the type of guy that uh, wants to go uh, you know, stressing it, get this one right here. For those uh, really uh, hard soil, cold, cold days where the ground is ice hard. And you'll cut right through like butter. And the nice thing is, is it's a T-handle. It's got the little thing there for your feet. You put your foot on there and push right to the ground. Don't buy this. This is horrible. It's got a flat tip on there. They break. No good. 
this thing here with the extended extended handle no good I wouldn't bother I don't know Kelly Co shovels I don't know if this part right here which is here I don't know if it's Ford steel or not but it's 50 bucks so you get what you pay for it's not made by Samson I don't know who makes that it's called a stew line I never even heard of it never seen anyone use it but it's all up to you you know you give it a test give it a review tell me what you think of it you know after you use it a full year does it break but Samson give you a three-year warranty and if I had already had to use the warranty, it was fairly easy to do. I can always put it in the description also, the phone number, if you need to uh, have it replaced. Also, um, I don't get paid for these reviews. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. So, Samson or whoever sells these right here, I, I bought mine right off of eBay. That was the cheapest place. Uh, none of the metal detecting sites at that time when I bought these were selling them or offering them. The only place you get them is Amazon and eBay. And I'm tax uh, exempt on eBay, plus everything usually on eBay is cheaper than uh, Amazon anyhow, even if you have Amazon Prime. So I normally go that route. Hopefully you liked the review on these shovels and what to look for, what not to get. And uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Good day.